Okay, so the first thing you need to do is remove all of the tangles from the hair and then I would suggest putting in your preferred part in. You'll find it a lot easier to place the part in now rather than when it's nearly dry. As you're doing this step, I would also suggest that you put in the fringe. Okay, now to the next step, you need to put in your preferred products. I am using a volumizing root lift and then I'll be using a thickening spray on the ends of the hair. You can see as I'm applying this product, I'm taking small sections and applying directly to the root. Now that I'm applying the thickening spray, I'm just applying it to the ends. Rub in your product to make sure it's evenly distributed. So start to blast dry off your client's hair. I normally blast it off until it's about 90% dry. Before I start to section the hair, I brush out all the tangles again. This will make it a lot easier for you to blow dry the hair. So section off from the front to the back. I do this from taking the sections from the crown to the top of the ear. Split the back of the hair into two and then take smaller sections towards the nape of the neck. Your subsection should be the width of your brush. Always use your nozzle when professionally blow drying the hair. I only take my nozzle off when I'm doing a blast dry. Before I section the back of the hair, I always blow dry my fringe first. I just find it a lot easier to make it fall correctly. I also find that when I blow dry the fringe first, my client is a lot more comfortable. Obviously the last thing people want is wet hair in their face.
never rest your nozzle onto the brush when blow drying. This will burn your client's hair and the bristles of your brush. So when blow drying, always place your brush in closely to the root. You want to be able to dry the root first and then concentrate on the ends of the hair. Always keep your brush and the hair dryer moving. If you keep it in the same place for too long, you will burn your client's skull. Always keep your nozzle directed away from the client's scalp. This will avoid you burning them. Once you've completed your first section, move on to your neck. I always blow dry from the centre of the section and then work my way out. I'm slightly lifting my brush when blow drying, this will create root lift. When I'm trying to achieve root lift, I also put my brush on base. I always blow dry from the centre of the section and then work my way out. I'm slightly lifting my brush when blow drying, this will create root lift. When I'm trying to achieve root lift, I also put my brush on base. working through the back two sections until you've reached the top. To the side sections, I tend to take slightly bigger sections as the hair is a lot finer. Again, you want to start drying at the root and then work your way towards the end. tension when blow drying, this will decrease the frizz.
make sure that your sectioning is very tidy. If your sectioning is very untidy, then this can be quite uncomfortable as you get little crosshairs. Move on to your final section following the same blow dry techniques. To create a little bit more root lift at the crown area, I go over and re-blow dry. So here's our final look. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for weekly videos. Bye!